Hey YouTube, Greybeard here. Uh, I'm going to show you how I use PolySmooth by Polymaker. It's a material that can be smoothed out with rubbing alcohol. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so here we have the Polymaker box. Uh, inside it came with a little pamphlet, uh, which has disclaimers and some other stuff, uh, some desiccant and a resealable uh, bag for it. This is the roll here. Uh, pretty good roll. Uh, I, I do like the design of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's decent. You can see uh, how much material you have left very easily. Uh, the color is nice too. It's it's a, a pretty rich color. Uh, it's coming through in the video a little bit more blue than it appears in life. So, unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to uh, calibrate my video yet. Uh, then I printed out two Marvins. Um, with these two Marvins, I'm going to keep one as a reference, and then the other is going in the, the bath. And for that, I have a bowl, I have a ripped piece of paper towel, I have my uh, rubbing alcohol, and I have a lid. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, and uh, I need something to put the guy on so he doesn't uh, uh, sit in the uh, bath directly. So I'm going to use a lid from a water bottle. Uh, that will be the little stand he will be on. All right, let's get this. Okay, as stated, uh, we're gonna put one of these in a vapor bath of rubbing alcohol. Uh, this is the print here. I have it marked, uh, pretty good print quality. Straight out of the printer, the material prints just fine. Um, there is some drooping up there, but that's just cooling settings. Uh, the small parts uh, tend to droop a little bit when it prints fast, so. But yeah, print's fine. Uh, we're gonna put that one in, and then the other one is just gonna stay out as a reference. Uh, very similar uh, print result. Um, probably has yeah, a little drooping there as well from the cooling. So uh, that's what we're gonna start with. Um, so let me move these out of the way, and let's get to this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in here, squirt it with some of this uh, rubbing alcohol, and uh, maybe swirl it around, get it soaked. So, as I said, we have we have a little in the bottom of the bowl, but that's okay. Uh, there we go. It's ready to go. Uh, this will be the platform, and we will stick the. Marvin right on that. So let me grab one of them. And there he goes in. And it was, uh, I still had rubbing alcohol on my finger so I could feel it sticking, the plastic was starting to stick to me. And then I'll seal it up tight so the uh, uh, vapors could do their job and the alcohol lasts a while. So let's seal that up. All right, and there he is in there. And we're gonna try giving this about six hours. So let's see what happens. I'm, I might check on it uh, every two hours or something. All right. Okay, it's been two and a half hours. Let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. <clears throat> All right. Towel is still moist at the bottom. It looks a little glossy. looks a little glossy. I still see some layer lines, so I'm definitely going to let it keep going. Uh, but it does appear to be working just fine. So I really think it's going to be about a six or seven hour process. So check back. Let's see. All right, let's check this thing out. I think it's been about seven and a half hours. Let's see what it's looking like. So we do still have liquid in there. The dude himself, it looks shiny. Very shiny. Uh, yeah, he looks smoothed out. Looks uh, looks improved. I'm gonna try to get him out of there. Uh, let me grab some tweezers. <clears throat> All right. I know they're not tweezers. No, that's okay. Nope. Stick into my pliers. So, he does seem uh, adhered to the platform. It looks like his foot is actually melting into the platform. But we have uh, a 
definite smoothing or something going on with him. You can see the, the edges aren't as sharp as they used to be. I hardly see any layer lines. And uh, definitely shiny. I'm going to let him dry out and come back and give it a final look and compare it to the original. All right, so it should have dried by now. Let's take a look at it. This is the Polymaker Poly Smooth. Try to get all this in, in frame for you. All right, this is the smooth one. It feels, it feels like it's dry, but I have a feeling I am uh, leaving marks on this. It's still soft so uh, it does look really good though I mean it, it took out all the uh, layer lines and everything else and here's the original so you can see it's a kind of a big difference the color is slightly different in my opinion uh, let's see could just be the gloss I mean a matte and a gloss will have different appearance of color um, but yeah it looks good I'm gonna let it dry overnight though because it is still soft so all right it's been about 24 hours later so this is the original uh, you've seen it before and then this is the smoothed one uh, it still has kind of like a almost feels like a rubber or something now but looks really good. Uh, not quite as easy to mark as it was yesterday when it was still wet, but uh, I think that looks really, really good. Looks like one of those uh, hard candies. So, uh, and to remove them, I think I just pull him off. Yeah, so he, he comes off of that lid pretty easy. No issue there. And as I said on the uh, coloring, um, this blue is a little bit lighter than what's showing on the, the camera here. Uh, it's more like a cornflower blue, but uh, oh, there he goes. He's too slippery. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Polymaker, Polyscooth. Uh, simply uh, uh, smoothed out in a bowl with a paper towel and some uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, and that pretty much took care of it. I didn't need to buy any fancy machines or anything to use it. Uh, it did take a long time. It took about seven hours, and I think if you have a fancy machine, it'll do it a lot faster. But, uh, you know, for not spending a whole lot of money here, uh, that's not a bad job at all. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and be sure to check out graybeard3d.com, and also uh, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and watch my other videos that are coming. Thank you very much.